Andrew and Andrew, you're asking very good questions. Here's my view of what we're facing. We're fighting a war, not a crime. Those involved in radical Islam, those terrorist groups are trying to destroy our way of life, enslave moderate Muslims, and basically, you know, put the world back into darkness are not common criminals. Uh, I've been a military lawyer for 30 years. When you capture an enemy prisoner, the last thing you want to do is worry about prosecution. You're trying to gather intelligence. And in this war, and I believe we're in a war, the more you know about the enemy, the safer you, you are. That's why you need FISA laws. That's why you need the Patriot Act to stay ahead of the enemy. I believe in holding people off the battlefield as enemy prisoners, not common criminals. Under the law of war, you don't have to prosecute every enemy prisoner you, you capture. As a matter of fact, the odd thing is to prosecute somebody. So we need a system that allows us to hold these guys off the battlefield, gather intelligence lawfully, methodically, slowly, within our values, give them due process, but treat them as enemy prisoners, not common criminals. And the reason I want to use military commissions is because I believe we're at war, and military commissions are set up in a way to protect classified evidence better than civilian trials. Uh, the military is, uh, has a long-standing history of trying enemy prisoners who have committed war crimes. Civilian courts are set up for just that, civilian crimes. So I think we're dealing with two things here. Uh, the ability to capture and hold people off the battlefield, to gather intelligence. And when you go to trial in military commission setting, you don't give the uh, enemy prisoner the same rights as an American citizen under the Constitution. That's not required under the law of war, nor should it be. Ninety percent of a military commission trial is like a uniform code of military justice trial against our own soldiers, but you make accommodations because you're a nation at war. In Nuremberg, when we tried uh, war criminals, the war was over. We're still involved in the war, so how you conduct these trials is very important. I think the military commission setting should be the primary venue, but I'm okay with using federal courts in limited circumstances, but not for somebody like Khalid Sheikh Mohammed. A foreign fighter captured on the battlefield overseas, a non-citizen, should be treated as an enemy combatant, uh, a terrorist suspect who has valuable information, and if any prosecution is done down the road, it should be done in a military commission setting. Bottom line is I believe we're fighting a war, not a crime.